aka Dr. Henry Delgado. Maraming po salamat, Pastor. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ating pong buksan ang ating mga Biblia sa Philippians chapter 3. Sa po laging pribliheyo ang, ang gamitin ng Panginoon para uh, ipahayag ang una ang mensahe ng Panginoon. At uh, ang mensahe po, ito po ay mensahe ni Pastor. Ako lamang po ay uh, tagapagsalita. Uh, Philippians chapter 3 verses 12, 13, and 14. Not as though I had already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14, I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Manalangin po tayo. Marami po salamat, Panginoon, sa pagkakabasa ng inyong salita. Dalayan ko po ang inyong banal na espiritu ang mauna po ngayon para sa paghayag ng inyong salita. Dalayan ko po ang inyong paggamit sa inyong lingkod sa inyo po ng Banal na Espiritu. Dalayan ko rin po ang makikinig. Uh, I pray that they will have an understanding heart. Uh, that they would uh, receive your word tonight ng, uh, ng, with openness in their, in, their, uh, in their minds. I pray, Lord, din si Pastor na paingatan niyo po siya sa kapag punta sa Quezon City. I pray gamitin niyo rin po siya sa gawain doon at uh, use him mightily, Lord. Uh, we pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. Uh, pwede na pong maupo. Ang title po ng message ngayon is Don't Stop, Keep Moving Forward. Um, there are only two that I can think of that can stop you moving forward. The first one is uh, when there's obstacle uh, that is beyond your energy. Oh, no, uh, that's, no, I mean, the obstacle is too great for your energy. Diba? Uh, it can uh, make it can give you discouragement. It can give you uh, uh, a pause. Uh, the second is uh, when when you need to recuperate, you need to recover. Uh, but sometimes, yung discouragement. Uh, ayaw mo na kasing ayaw mo nang mang move on gusto mo na lang tigil na dahil tinitingnan mo oy ma, ma, masyadong masyadong mahirap uh, at sumusuko ka na but the key to life of not stopping and moving forward is to live your best life Actually, um, to live actually the best life is to all is to progress. Ewan ko, nasubukan niyo bang nagtrabaho na walang yung hindi walang nangyayari? Di ba ang hirap magtrabaho ng ganun? Di ba? Ang hirap magturo ng ng bata na yung bata hindi nagpo-progress. 
parang namawalan ka ng uh, ng walang saysay no nawawala ng ng significance yung ginagawa mo so uh, so to move forward gusto natin we we do we do our best how to live your best life now and to start moving forward it starts how you approach every new morning because today is the only day you have you can't do anything about the past and you don't know what the future holds but when you make up when you wake up in the morning you can make up your mind to do your best to enjoy your day actually it's not only morning as a may mga shifting, no, mga trabaho shifting. But the point here is, uh, when you wake up from your uh, from your sleep after resting uh, your body, yung paggising mo from that, uh, napakahalaga na you set your mind to a new. Uh, to a new horizon uh, to a new focus and to the right focus actually so kaya nga maganda pagkagising mo yung punta ka agad sa word of God and meditate on the word of God Hindi yung paggising mo, ano unang bubuksan? Cellphone. Pagbukas sa cellphone, Facebook. <laughs> Or Messenger. Y yun agad ang ano eh. Ang pumapasok sa isip. Or, matindi dyan, YouTube. Tapos, manood ng mga that will entertain you and you will start your day with that so nawawalan ka ng nawawala ka sa focus but if you wake if you wake up in the morning and start your day with the word of God and meditate on that and You know, pag nag-meditate ka, tinitingnan mo yung nangyayari or nire-review mo yung nangyayari sa buhay mo. O kung ina-assess mo kung nasaan ka na. And based on that, and based on the Word of God actually, uh, makita mo kung yung mga desisyon mo ay tama. So, kaya importante yung nag-meditate sa Word of God. I tell you, that's very powerful. Kaya, we have to start with that. You're not going to allow what does or doesn't happen to steal your joy and keep you from God's abundant life. Don't start your day off by feeling guilty about yesterday or recalling all the mistakes you made. But rather, when you make mistakes, simply ask God for forgiveness and then move on, confident that the moment you ask, God forgives you. You see, kaya nga importante sa paggising mo, uh, ano yung, ano yung uh, magiging focus mo is it yung mga mistakes mo uh, yung yung mga nangyari kasi yun man talaga ang ano eh unang naiisip natin di ba ano ba nangyari kahapon ano bang ano ba yung nag di ba yun naman yun ang lagi nating naiisip but pag yun ay uh, Pag binasa mo, 
yung mga promises ng Panginoon, you start with the Word of God, magkakaroon ka ng magandang outlook. Because, mind you, God wants us to have an abundant life. And that is promised. Hindi yan dapat ilagay natin sa atin outlook. Hindi yung abundant life which is uh, the crown of life, your goals in your life. Hindi yan na uh, uh, mararating ko ba ito? O... Hindi pinag-uusapan doon kung kaya mong marating. Ang pinag-uusapan doon, paano mo siya mararating? Pag-usapan natin yan mamaya. No? But, What I want to uh, put in your focus no, is uh, kung ano man yung nangyari, yes, may consequences and you have to live with that. And you have to move on. Eh, kung ano man yung consequences, be wala ini wala eh kasi nagkamali ka eh talagang ganun pero hindi ibig sabihin tumigil ka basta move on and then ko ano man yung nagawa mo eh mali no ah, ganito ako dati wag mo nang isipin yon ang isipin mo pinatawad ka na ng Panginoon at actually kung ikaw ay Kristiyano Ano man ang gagawin mong kasalanan, pinatawad na ng Panginoon yan eh. Na-realize ba yan? That's doctrinal. Kaya nga, hindi, ta- hindi nawawala yung kaligtasan natin eh. Ano man ang gagawin mong kasalanan, pinatawad na ng Panginoon yan. Alam naman ng Diyos eh, na hindi tayo perfect. Eh bakit kung hindi patarawarin ng Panginoon niya, hindi araw-araw na lang natin uh, tatanggapin natin ng Panginoon. Hindi ganun eh. Diba? Araw-araw na lang tayong magre-repent, mag-hihingi, uh, uh, i-re-renew yung ating salvation. No. Hindi ganun ang... Well, that's another subject. no? In Romans chapter 6, yun ang pinag-uusapan doon. Yes. Nasa loob na nagkakasala tayo, but God will always forgive you. Well, kung ikaw ay totoong kristyano, eh, ano man ang kasalanan mo, eh, hihigi mo ng tawad talaga yan, eh. Yan, kung hindi ka guilty, aba, baka hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka, hindi ka nga ligtas. So, You are ready to a great present and a bright future. That's put that in your mind. Get up every morning and receive God's love and mercy and the power of His Word for your life. Start your day with God by saying, Father, I thank you that this is going to be a great day. I thank you that I have discipline self-control that I make good decisions. I may not have done all that I could have yesterday, but that day is gone. I'm going to get up and do better today. So start your day with that. A positive note. Hindi yung ay, ay, hindi, ay, hindi ka makagalaw eh. Kaya tamad ka maligo. O, oh, at tama rin ka maligo kasi eh, ano pa bang mangyayari? Wala namang mangyayari. <laughs> eh, pag ganyan ang outlook mo sa buhay, eh, walang marating yan. Pero hindi yan ang will ng Diyos sa atin. It should be our desire to unlock doors leading a fuller life in the future. 
We will use all the things that God has given us as a springboard to help us draw nearer to God and to help us overcome the obstacles that might keep us from living our best life now to reach our future by not stopping and moving forward. You know, the goal every morning when you wake up should be Paano ka, how to get closer to God. That is very important. Why? Kasi yung obstacles, hindi mo talaga yan kaya. Hindi mo yan kakayanin. Mind you, if you have goals, there will always be obstacles. Pag umakit ka ng bundok, hindi pwedeng walang bato yan. Lagi yang may bato. Paano mo aakyatin yan? Uh, tuturuan ka ng Panginoon actually kung paano gagawin yan. Ang problema, pagka malayo ka sa Panginoon, hindi mo siya maintindihan. Yun ang totoo doon. Pagka malayo ka sa Panginoon, wala kang maunawaan. Ang Holy Spirit, hindi mo maintindihan. Yun ang, yun ang problema actually. Kaya kailangan, at the start, kailangan we get closer to God. Your life can be transformed and renewed as you allow God's Word to refresh and to reshape your thinking, speaking, and daily activities. Allow the scriptures to speak to you. Be still and listen to what God is saying to you. Every time na mag-meditate ka or devotion, devotion and meditation, it goes together dapat. You know, every time that you do that, nakukuha mo yung mensahe ng Panginoon. You know, napakadali kasing mag-memorize ng words. Kasi, ano tayo sa letters eh? Familiar na tayo. Alam natin yung letters. Alam natin yung words. Madaling memorize. Ang problema, hindi mo maintindihan yung mensahe. Or, dahil mahina ang memorya natin, hindi natin na tatandaan yung mensahe. Kaya nga ang sabi, kaya nga lagi dapat binabasa ang salita ng Diyos. You know, your memory, ang memory kasi ng tao, ano yan, labile. Ano? Hindi lang nakakalimutan Minsan, nandyan na, hindi pa maintindihan. Yun ang, yun ang problema ng tao talaga. Kaya kailangan paulit-ulit. Lalo na actually kung meron kang problema. Kaya nga ako, pagka kung may problema, I have compiled, I compiled a verses, no? Verses, alam mo, compilation, parang libro, no? Hindi, two pages lang yun, eh. <laughs> two pages lang, actually, ng band paper. Yung mga, prom- yung mga verses, the promises ng Panginoon. Nandito sa, ano ko, ayun. Paulit-ulit kong binabasa yan. Eh, yung iba nga, ang Bible nga, nabasa ko na ng buo yan, eh. Ang tataka ako, pagka binasa ko ulit, parang hindi ko na, bago ito, ah. <laughs> hindi ko na, hindi <laughs> ko hindi ko siya natandaan. And, may isa pa. Merong ano, pag binabasa mo yung Bible, may nakikita kang mensahe na bago. Ganun ang ano eh. Ang, ang Word of God, it's dynamic. Buhay, kaya nga buhay siya eh. Buhay. Hindi katulad ng uh, mga pinag-aaralan sa school. No? Pag sinabi mo ang heart, 
the heart is pumping the blood, that's no. Walang ano yan. Walang walang makaka disprove. The heart is pumping the blood. Eh, yun na talagang ano. Wala ka ng ibang, ano pang i-analyze mo? Wala na. Pero yung, yung salita ng Diyos, the moment yan ay binasa mo, dynamic yan. May buhay kasi yan eh. Kasi pinamum, kaya kailangan yung pinamumuhay. So kailangan yan pumapasok sa ating lagi. That's how to move forward. Now, no matter where you are and what challenges you face, you can start to enjoy your life right now. Actually, as I've said, the abundant life is the will of God in each of every one of us. Yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Yun ang will sa atin ng Panginoon. So, we have to focus on that now, how to move forward? First, keep up your level of expectancy. Yung expectation mo, dapat iaangat mo. Hindi yung dito lang. Dapat mas mataas. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2, it says, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. You know, ang pagkakaintindi natin dito, yung lagi na lang tayong, oh, heaven. Actually, mind you, doctrinally, hindi naman tayo, hindi naman tayo titira sa langit eh. After, ano, hindi, hindi, hindi tayo doon titira. Sa prophecy, ang nakalagay, Pag tayo na rapture, that's only temporary. Temporary lang yun. Hindi naman tayo. Wala nga sinabi sa Bible, pag na-rapture, punta kang langit. Wala. Wala sinabing ganun. Ang sinabi, we will appear on the, on the Bima judgment. Because yan yung awarding kung ano ang magiging posisyon natin do sa 1,000 years millennial reign. Saan yung 1,000 years ng millennial reign? Dito pa rin sa lupa. And that's 1,000 years. <laughs> Ay tayo nga, nabubuhay lang ng ano, ako, 50 o oh, five, 5 decades. Eh, yun, one, one, 100 decades. Oh, dito yun. And right after that, gugunawin ng, ng Panginoon ito at magtatayo siya ng bagong, magkagawa siya ng bagong new heaven and new earth. New earth. Wala nakalagay talaga sa Bible na tayo ay titira sa langit. So, ang ibig ko lang sabihin, when, nung sinabi dito ng Colossians chapter 3 verse 2, set your affection on things on above. Your, your viewpoint, your, uh, your outlook should be higher, should be heavenly. Or your standard should be heavenly. So, kailangan iangat natin ng ating expectations. Actually, God is extremely interested in what you see through your spiritual eyes. If you have a vision for victory in your life, you can rise to a new level. And that actually is promised. Remember Esau. Iso, actually, yun ang pronunciation, Iso. No? Buksan nyo nga dun sa Hebrews chapter 12. 
Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16 and 17. This is about Esau. Na ang kwento kasi nito is uh, magkapatid yan, si Esau and Jacob. Now, Isaac was very old at meron siyang katarak. Pero ang paborito niya, yung pang- panganay kasi si Iso. Si Jacob, yun ang pangalawa. Pero God rejected Iso. Why? Because he made a wrong choice. And he was an idiot. Why? That's why he lost his inheritance. Ang sabi dyan, lest there be any fornicator or profane person. Imagine. Profane, napakabigat na salita niyang profane. Ibig sabihin niyo, walang kakwenta-kwentang tao yan. As Iso, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. You know, we live, we live on trades. Actually, every day we live on trades. Trades, ibig sabihin, exchanges. That's why we cannot have, we cannot have both sides. Hindi pwedeng malaki bahay mo at marami kang pera. Eh, hindi totoo yun. Kasi binili mo yung ano eh. Binili mo yung bahay, wala na yung pera sa'yo. Pero ano yung, kasi yung bahay ngayon, yun ang, yun ang asset mo. Money is an asset. Ngayon, yung exchange, you trade. Ang ano doon, we trade and we expect a profit. Ang problema kay ISO, He trade his birthright just for a morsel of bread. Para lang mabusog siya. Yun lang ang gusto niya. So ayaw ng Panginoon yan. So we have to check ourselves. Ano yung tinitrade natin sa buhay? Ano yung ini-exchange natin? And mind you, seryoso ang Panginoon dito. Parang ang tingin mo, eh napaka ano naman yan. Parang wala naman yun, na, ano, anong wala? Yung birthright niya, ibinenta niya para lang siya makakain. Parang ang babaw, hindi mababaw yon Kasi paulit-ulit sinasabi sa kanila ni Isaac na sila ay ano, bibigyan ng lupang pangako at kailangan ng leader yan. And actually, he was training Esau than Jacob. But Jacob, mas ano siya, mas porsigido siya maging leader. Si Esau, hindi. Ang gusto niya lang, kumain. So, as long as you, your gaze is on the ground, instead of on your possibilities, your risk moving in the wrong direction and missing out on the great things God wants to do in and through you. Talagang mamimiss mo yan. Pagka hindi, if you do wrong trades. Huh? So, kailangan yung ating expectations taasan natin. You don't trade your a high level of expectations dahil ano, mapapagod ka lang. So you trade a higher position para lang makapagpahinga ka. Diba? Kasi yun lang, ang ano, gusto lang natin magpahinga, magpahinga. Ayaw natin ng challenges. But that, hindi yun ang, hindi yun ang will ng Panginoon. So, if you raise your expectations, it is spiritual as well as psychological fact that we move towards what we vision in our minds. Your life will follow your expectations. What you expect 
is what you will get. Actually, after reaching a goal, we should set a higher goal and move forward. If you raise your level of expectancy, you will enlarge your vision. Kaya nga, hindi tayo dapat nasasatisfy na pag may natapos tayo, okay na. Imagine, kung ang gusto ko lang ay matapos lang ako ng college, ay paano ako magiging doktor? At kung ang ang nagduel lang ako, natapos lang ako na maging doktor, paano ako manggagamot? You see? So, kailangan after after a goal, dapat meron kang marating na susunod. Di ba? Bakit ngayon? May bahay ka, okay. Satisfied ka dyan sa bahay mo. Bakit hindi mo, ano na, baka lipat ka sa iba? Imposible ba? <laughs> eh kung imposible yan, eh, ba't ko maasa sa Panginoon? Hindi ba pwede? Eh kung ganito lang yung bahay mo, Oh, hindi ka makalis. Ang ginawa mo, nagpatayo ka ng ibang o oh, nag-level up. O oh, may skyline ka na. Eh kung hindi, wala. Yung bubong mo, eh wala. Wala kang sampayan. <laughs> no, kailangan natin Iangat ng iangat yung ating expectations, yung ating mga goals. Kailangan natin mag-level up. Second, how to move forward. Keep expecting great things. In Mark chapter 9, verse 23, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. Ayan, ang linaw. All things are possible to him that believe it. E ngayon niya, may isip mo, siguro, Maiisip mo, itong ngayon na kalagayan mo, hindi mo maiisip siguro, paano? Paano ko ba ito? Paano ako naka... Diba? Yun yung ang maganda daw pa, pag binabalikan mo yung pinanggalingan mo eh. Na nakikita mo na malayo na pala yung narating mo. At maiisip mo ngayon that God was very gracious. Everything is possible for him who believes. With God, all things are possible. You got to feed your mind and heart with this beautiful promise. You got to keep remembering that. That all things are possible with God. Oh. Do sa aming Bible study to say Ephesians. Ephesians group last Friday uh, last week oh no last Friday pinag-usapan namin yung about nung uh, si Moses nagpadala ng 12 spies doon sa promised land mind you pinadala sila doon para i-assess kung paano sasakupin 
Yung sampu, ang inisip nila, uh, ang pagpunta nila doon, siguro nung naglalakad sila kasi, tapos, nakita nila. Mind you, great city. It wa, those were great cities nung nakita nila. At sasakupin nila. At nung tiningnan siguro nila yung kanilang mga sarili, ah, eh, ito lang ang ano namin. <laughs> ito lang kami. Ganito lang kami. Tapos nakita nila, oh, yung children of Enoch, yung mga higante, andun. <laughs> oh, nako. Eh, no, yung mga binanggit nun, the Hittites, the Jebusites, nung time na yun, pag narinig mo yun, mga great warriors yun. Mga, mga mamatay tao talaga. <laughs> mga, talaga yung mga taong kaila, kaya kang baligta rin. No? Ganun ka, kasi warrior nga eh. Uh, maskulado. No? Mga ganun. Yun ang nakita nila. Ngayon, nun dahil dun, pero nakita nila maganda eh. Oh, nakapagdala pa ng prutas. Hindi lang actually grapes yun. May mga prutas silang dala. At maganda. At yung mga paborito na ng pagkain nandun. At inuwi nila, ayun. Imbis na i-enjoy nila yung kanilang dala, magandang balita doon, <laughs> nag-report exaggerated pa. We were like grasshoppers. Sabi doon, no? Pero... Eh yung mga tao na pinunta nila, hindi naman, ang tingin niya sa kanila, hindi naman sila grasshoppers eh. Bakit? Eh spice sila eh. Hindi naman, hindi invisible nga sila eh. Hindi naman dapat sila nakikita eh. Paano masasabing ano? Siguro nakikita lang sila as common tao. And they were spice. Hindi naman na iniisip nung mga Jebusites, nung mga, na sila ay mga, mga sasakupin sila. Walang ganung walang ganung uh, uh, idea yung mga yung pinuntahan nila. Pero sila na nag-spy, ayun ang iniisip nila. Masyado nilang minaliit. Ay talaga namang maliit sila eh. Ang problema, nakalimutan nila na they have the great God. Maring ganyan din sa iyo ngayon. May mga goals ka na tinitingnan mo, ay Parang, paano ba ito? Hindi, ya, hindi yata practical. Eh si Joseph nga eh, hindi naman practical na, ano mo, slave. Pero nangarap maging governor ng Egypt. Eh ni, Islave siya. Pero kung nag lang siya at hindi, hindi niya inisip that he is a great God, wala. That's why you have to have a great faith. Wrap your faith and heart around this truth. The truth is, all things are possible to him that believe it. Kaya yeah, every day, yung promise, this beautiful promise, you have to put that in your mind. Let the seeds of God, let the seeds God is placing in your life take root so they can grow. So we will not stop and we will move forward. Expect God's favor to help you break out of the ruts and rise to a new heights. It can happen without a bank loan or having decks or Department of Education credentials. It can happen in spite of our past and what the critics are telling us. You just have to believe. 
kailangan mong maniwala. So ano man ang ginagawa mo ngayon, nag-aaral ka man, lalo na kung nag-aaral ka, pagbutihin mo yan. Oh, mahirap. Oh, mahirap talaga. Alam ko yan. May mas, may mas mahirap pa eh. Pagkatapos mo mag, makagraduate ka, mas mahirap. <laughs> Sabi ko sa iyo. <laughs> dahil nahihirapan ka sa school, dahil may deadlines, may goals, dapat tapos ganito. Eh, yun ang ano eh. Sa school yan. After mo, ano, eh, well, well, kung magtatrabaho ka talaga sa kumpanya, eh, laging ganyan din, lalo dun. May deadline, may ano, kasi pag hindi mo nagawa yan, apatay, sisante ka. So, you have to believe that even uh, at your level right now, and you are expecting a higher level, a higher goal. Kasi, Paano mo nga ba maabot yan? Ah, ito, paano ko maabot yan? Eh, imposible, di ba? Hindi. Ah, Kailangan kong may tututuntungan ako. Ay, yun ang favor ng Diyos. Ay, yun ang tools na binibigay sa atin para magawa natin yung hindi natin kayang gawin. Nang tayo lang. Ha? E yung ang simple tools, mga turnilyo, kaya ba ng kamay mo yan? Hindi. Gagamit ka ng, ng screw, screwdriver. Di ba? Skills. Di ba, pinag-aaralan yan sa... Oh. May mga binigay sa atin ng Panginoon na tools. And those are in the Word of God. Nasa Bible yan. Hindi lang yun. Nasa ating pinag-aaralan yan sa school. You know, hindi uh, yung mga technique, ano, yung mga protocols or technique, I say technique or lessons, kung paano gawin ang isang bagay. Alam ba, banking industry, in a banking, di ba, may mga protocols yan. May mga system. Yung mga yan, instituted by God yan para mag-function well. Yan traffic, yung flow ng traffic, kung paano minamanage yan. Yan, instituted by God. Ang point ko, ano man ang skills na meron ka ngayon and abilities, God can use that. Ang problema, kung nasa atin lang, no? uh, paano tayo mag-move forward? And we are always bound by the barriers of the past. Yun actually ang laging humihila sa atin, yung ating past. Actually, there are two things about your past. The first is the past mistakes. The past mistakes, we don't forget our past mistakes. We learn from them. Hindi totoo na dapat kalimutan mo yung mga nangyaring mali, hindi. You got to remember them and learn from them. Ang hindi mo dapat gawin, ay eh pagka natandaan mo yung ginawa mo, ay eh panay ang remorse mo. Panay ka lang self-pity, remorse. <laughs> Walang mararating yan. Ang dapat, ay eh, totoo naman, actually sa katotoo sa totoo lang, marami kang natutunan sa mga mali eh, di ba? 
mali mo, mali, mali mo ang iba. Di ba? Mas marami kang natutunan dun eh. Di ba? Kasi nakita mo yung consequence. Kasi pag walang consequence, hindi, hindi wala kang ano eh, wala kang takot eh. So, past mistakes, you learn from them. Second, yung past accomplishments, yun ang dapat mong kalimutan. You forget them. You don't dwell on the cloud nine of the past. Oh, eh, pambira. Pagka natapos mong isang bagay, tuwang-tuwa ka, oh, rejoice. Eh, palagi na lang ganun, rejoice ng rejoice. <laughs> hindi, hindi, hindi makakaalis yan. Kasi, you feel satisfied. Wala, walang ano yan, walang marating pagkaganyan. Yan ang dapat mong kalimutan. Ay, nung graduate ka ba ng high school, di ba? High school ka nun, tuwan-tuwa ka. Oh. Hanggang ngayon ba nararamdaman mo yun? Gumaduate ka ng college. Oh, hagis pa lang ganyan. Oh, ah, picture-picture pa. Eh, eh kung hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin ang nararamdaman mo, eh, ano? What is that? You got to move forward. Forget them. Tapos na yan. Move a higher level. Tapos na yung cloud nine na yan. Start making room in our thinking for what God has in store, has in store for us. Remember, gusto ng ibigay ng Panginoon yan. But, and eh, not but, but, uh, you have to realize that this is one level higher from where you are now. One level higher than when you are. So expect to excel in whatever you do right now. Allow that seed to take root. Ano? Dapat ganun na ang ano ang ang uh, ganun na dapat ang uh, level mo yung yung expectation mo a higher level when you are now Get beyond the barriers of the past and the annoyances of the present Alam mo maraming nakakainis talaga pag kasi Yung maabala ka, nakakainis eh. Ako pa naman talaga yung ano, ako pagka may ginagawa ako, tapos biglang may mag sa akin, talaga. Nakakaabala, nakakainis. No? But we have to get beyond that and expect God to do great things in your life. The third, how to move forward is to keep experiencing God's power. Ito ngayon. Then touch he their eyes. In Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, it says, Then touch he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. Ito yung kwento dun sa, ano, sa... Yung mga bulag na uh, lumapit kay Kristo. At hindi, ma- hindi madali ang bulag na umalis sa kinalalagyan niya. <laughs> hindi madali yan. At hanapin nila si Kristo. <laughs> Paano yun? Hindi madali. Pero kahit mahirap, ginawa nila yun. At doon tuwan-tuwa ang Panginoon. This is our time for increase. We have to increase our faith right now. Increase your faith. Yan, paulit-ulit ko rin sinasabi ko sa sarili yan. Kailangan itaas natin, taas ko ang level ng aking pananampalataya. 
We may have been sick for a long time, but this is our time to get well. Well, recovery is not only of health, but most importantly, spiritual. Alam mo, pagka nagkakasakit ka, dapat tingnan mo rin yung spiritual. Hmm. Tanungin mo, bakit ka nagkasakit? Tanong mo yung Panginoon. Kasi may mensahe yan. Bakit pinabayaan ka ng Panginoon magka-COVID? Hingaling ka, o, mahirapan ka, uh, pag nilagnat talagang hindi ka makatulog, sakit ang katawan, well, you have to ask God, what's the purpose? And you have to recover both spiritually and your physical. Or, meron kang sakit na hindi incurable. At maraming ganyan. May sakit na incurable. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya marireverse at kaya ka lang kailangan lang ng maintenance ng gamot. No. Bawa, high blood. Ah, matindi yung diabetes. Ah, mas matindi kung pareho meron ka niyan. No. At yung uminom ng gamot na ilang tableta yan, napaka medyo actually masasanay ka rin. Ang problema ay eh, hindi mo mainom sa oras. Hmm. Well, we may be bound by addictions and bad habits, especially bad habits. But this is a time to, set, to be set free. We have to uh, go over beyond our bad habits. We have to think of uh, whatsoever is lovely. Yeah, you say Philippians, iba. Yung mga virtues na yon, kailangan ipasok mo sa yung sarili, isipin mo ng isipin to recover from bad habits. Kaya nga importante, no? Alay ko sinasabi, importante ang paulit-ulit nating binabasa ang salita ng Diyos. Now, we may be struggling financially and this is time for promotion. But the only the only lesson God wants you to learn while you struggle financially is to budget your resources. Is to manage your budget and to follow Yun lang naman ang ano dyan eh. Yun naman ang minsaya ng Panginoon dyan. The reason, the, end, the only le- lesson na gusto ng Panginoon mo matutunan, eh, paano hawakan yung pera ng Panginoon. Pera niya yan eh. Hindi mo yan pera. Kailangan gamitin mo yan para sa Panginoon. Ngayon, Yung blessing, eh, sabit ka lang doon. Sabit lang tayo talaga eh. Dahil yung blessing, susunod yan eh. Pag tayo, ginamit natin yung ating resources sa Panginoon. No? At hindi, hindi yan biro. Yan ay katotohanan. Hmm. Well, the key is to believe. You could only experience God's power if you take that step of faith. Hindi yung nasa isip lang. Hindi yung nababasa lang natin o naririnig natin. Kailangan gawin natin. Step of faith. Buksa. 2 Kings chapter 4. Alam niyo, may story doon. 2 Kings chapter 4. In 
verse 1 says, Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. You see? Uh, nabalo ito, at ngayon may marami siyang utang, at namatay dahil na, wala na nagtatrabaho ngayon. No? At meron siyang dalawang anak na kukunin na slave. Ngayon, sabi ni Elisha, eh, anong gagawin ko sa iyo? Ano bang meron ka sa bahay? Alam mo, ganun din sa atin. Ano bang meron tayo? Ano ang mang meron tayo, dyan magsisimula yung miracle ng Panginoon. Save a pot of oil. What is the pot of what pot of oil do you have in your house? Sayo, anong meron ka na pwedeng gamitin ng Panginoon na ipakita niya yung kanyang glory? Oh, di ba nangyari dito? Sa so verse And when thou art come in, and thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy house, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her, uh, her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. So kinargahan niya, yung mga hiniram niyang palayok, And it came to pass, well, habang karga siya ng karga, ituloy-tuloy eh, yung, tuloy-tuloy yung langis. Hindi na ubos. Oh. And now, and it came to pass when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. Marami pa eh. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Doon lang natapos nung wala nang paglagyan. So ano ngayon na meron ka na pwedeng padamihin ng Panginoon? Ha? Huh? Yun yung milagro na gustong uh, gawin ng Panginoon actually sa atin. Ang sabi sa Numbers chapter 14 verse 21, All the earth, no? but as truly as I live, sabi ni, ng Panginoon, ng Panginoon mismo nagsasalita dyan, All the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Dito, humingi ng tawad, ano, humingi na, uh, no, uh, si Moses, uh, nag-mediate. He mediated, uh, ito yung ten spies, eh. Tapos, dahil sa maling report, uh, nag-rebelde ngayon, nagwala yung mga Israelites. Kasi, they were so frustrated, kasi, ang inaasahan nila talaga, sila'y pupunta sa promised land. Ang problema, 
nakarinig sila, hindi naman nila nakita eh. Yung promise land eh. Yung ten spice lang naman na nagsabi sa kanila eh. Nakita nila yung fruits. Ang problema, mas pinawalaan nila yung mga exaggeration nung report, nung sampu, maliban kay Caleb and Joshua. Ngayon, nagalit ang Panginoon. Busit na busit sa kanila. Gusto silang lipulin. At sinabi nga kay Moses, okay, papalitan ko itong population na to ng sayo galing. Ang problema, hindi nakalagay sa Bible yon pero malamang yun yun eh. Ang problema, yung mga anak ni Moses, hindi... Hindi kasing galing niya. Alam niyo ba yung pangalan ng dalawang anak ni Moses? Ako hindi. <laughs> hindi sila si <laughs> na, na. Pero nasulat yata no, pero they were so insignificant to be mentioned by God himself. So si Moses eh, parang nahihiya siya na malamang hindi hindi mangyari yung So ininsist niya eh Panginoon, ipag eh, niyari mo 'tong mga 'to, eh ano na lang sasabihin nung uh, kaya niyo dinala 'yan para patayin ng Panginoon. But no. Uh, sabi doon, parang ito yung laging ginagamit ng mga agnostics, eh, kita mo ay nag-repent, nagsisi yung Diyos mo. Eh, hindi totoo ang nagsisi ang Panginoon doon. Ma, ano lang, uh, hindi lang yun ang, kasi ibig sab, hindi ibig sabihin doon sa King James, eh, repent, eh, nagsisi, hindi yun. Ibig sabihin, nag-withhold ang Panginoon sa gusto niyang gawin, pero nasunod pa rin yung gusto niyang gawin. Ano? Eh, nilipol niya eh, 40 years na nag-wander sila doon. At lahat na nagreklamo doon, lahat na nagrebelde pinatay, namatay doon sa disyerto. At hindi sila nakarating sa promise land. Oh. All the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Tandaan nyo yan. Sa lahat ng bagay, He will fill the earth with His own glory. Kaya nga, sumunod ka man o hindi, laging nandun ang testimony ng Panginoon. Pag sumunod ka, ando ng testimony ng Panginoon ay mabuti, gracious. Kung hindi ka sumunod, makikilala pa rin ang Panginoon sa kanyang judgment. So, saan mo gustong makilala ang Panginoon ngayon? Nasa sa iyo yun. So gusto lang ng Panginoon na ipakita sa atin, no? Nag-set ka ng goal, hindi mo alam kung ma- mararating mo ba ito. Hindi hindi mo alam. Pero beyond that, gustong ipakita ng Panginoon ang kanyang glory. That in our life is not going is not going to be our might or power but by the Holy Spirit. No, nawalan ka. You lost an asset. Kayang palitan ng Panginoon yan. Remember that God can create out of nothing. This universe actually was created out of nothing. Eh, God is the energy. Yun nga ang theory ng ano eh. Theory ng mga atis eh. Kaya nagkaroon ng matter, there was an energy. But the energy actually is God. If you you know the physics, no? Eh, ayaw ko na explain yun, no? Pero that's the physics of that. God is the energy. And that is directed, directed energy. So the power of the Most High God shall come upon you and cause it to happen. Kaya nga, huwag natin kakalimutan Ku ano man nung wala sa atin ang kulang, ang Diyos nandiyan. 
No? Paulit-ulit lang naman nangyari sa atin yan. No? We have past experiences about that. Now, last, keep believing you can be it. In 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 9, And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. In verse 10, And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. Take note that a double portion of what you are right now is a hard position. Diba? From your level here to there, that's double. And that's a hard thing. James chapter 1, verse 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Because big faith will be tried big. Sinasabi ko sa inyo yan. Pagka inangat mo yan, ah, may pagsubok. Kailangan kang subukan. But, you know, we have to focus on our goals. We have to focus on our objective rather than the obstacles. And remember that God is not after our convenience, but on our character. Kaya tayo sinusubukan. You know, so James chapter 1 verse 3, and sabi, Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. You have to realize that. You have faith, it will be tried. It will be tried hard. But God is after our patience. Ang susunod sa verse na yun, in, in verse 4, sabi doon, uh, knowing this that the trying your faith work it patience, but let Patience have her perfect work. That you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Yun ang, yun ang, yun ang gustong i-develop sa atin nun, Panginoon. Now, we shouldn't worry about this. As God said, we will be tried according to our own competence. No? 1 Corinthians chapter 10, in verse 13, Ang sabi doon, There hath no temptation taken you, but such is as common to man. Pare-pareho yan. Walang, walang, ano yan, ah, ah, kaya ng tao yan. No, hindi, hindi ka susubukan ng pagsubok na gagawin sa anghel. Hindi tayo susubukan ng Panginoon. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. Oh, hindi lang yun. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So, kaya natin yung pagsubok. Dito, si Elijah, nakita niya, ah, si Elisha, no? Palagi siyang kasama ni Elijah. So nakita niya kung paano ang milagro ng Panginoon sa kanila. Mind you, these are prophets. Imagine, 
nung time nila, there's a, there was economic crisis. Tagtuyot eh. Ano nun? Uh, El Nino. Uh, may climate change. Matagal na actually yung climate change na yan eh. Noong pa man, meron eh. Kung sinasabi nilang global warming, eh, eh talaga mang warm ang mundo since then. Wala lang kasing record nun. Ang record natin kasi, yun nasa Bible. O yun yung, nung, nung, nung time ni Elijah and Elisha, eh wala namang advanced technology nun para i-measure yung, wala namang thermometer nun. O, kasi before Christ yan eh. Eh lahat naman ng technology ngayon eh, after Christ na yan eh. Doon lang actually nagkaroon na recording yan. Ngayon, kung babasahin niyo yung mga climate reports, nung ano, sasabihin nila, ah, even before million years, no, hindi totoo yung na-measure yan. Inestimate lang nila based sa, ano, sa ngayon, kung ano yung nangyari dati. Pero mali. Yung model, actually, mali. Kasi iniisip nila na pareho lang ang ang sitwasyon ng weather. No? But now, ang gusto lang i-point out, naghihirap sila noon, pero sino sustain sila ng Panginoon? Oh, ay eh, di ba ngayong pandemic last year lang, nag-lockdown ng lahat. Oh, buhay pa naman tayo eh. Oh, eh nakakain pa naman eh. Oh. Remember past in the past, how God sustain you and deliver. Remember God's faithfulness. If God has done in, ilan, paulit-ulit sinasabi ni Pastor Tungay, if God has done it in the past, He can do it in the future. I will revise it. He can double it in the future. In their final conversation, untung si Elijah and Elisha, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. No, kung kung makikita mo ako, pag ako kinuwa, sabi niya, oh, mangyayari sa iyan. But actually, ang gusto mensahe doon, if God allows you to see it, you can count on your request being granted. Kung yun ang nakikita mo, yun ang focus mo, at yun ang pinagpipray mo, at kahit ano ma, kahit imposible, or it's very hard, ibibigay ng Panginoon yan. If you can visualize it, seeing it through the screen of God's Word with your spiritual eyes, it can become a reality in your life. You see, low expectations trap you in mediocrity. And God hates mediocre. Remember Esau. He was so idiot and mediocre na para lang makakain, i-exchange yung kanyang birthright. Now, high expectations motivate and propel you to move forward in your life. No matter how hard, let's focus on our objective rather than the obstacles. Lastly, I know, gusto, gusto, gusto ni Pastor na sabihin ko ito sa inyo. Our church situation right now is pastors being called up to level up. And nung dati parang siyempre may alam mo, pagka umak- ako, pag umakyat talagang nalulula ako eh. <laughs> sa taas, tas tumihinga sa baba, ang akalula eh. Kasi, new horizon. 
new territory. Aangat is being called to level up and is nominated. You know, nomination in the party list is not just nomination. Pagka nakakuha ng 1 million votes yan, he will have a seat in the Congress. And the message that I got here, I got from this is, we got to support his essentials. Hindi madaling maging congressman. Mag-iiba ang kanyang lifestyle. And those need resources. You see, in, why, in one way or another, actually, God will support. Will support him. Bibigay naman ng Panginoon yung pangailangan niya eh. But for us, in order for us to level up, we must be a part of it. Kailangan party tayo dyan. So kailangan mag-increase tayo ng giving. Eh lang umangat. Now. Isa pa. <laughs> Ito, 22 million. 22 nga ba? 26. 22 million daw, di ba? Oh. Well. Ang vision ni Pastor, atin yan. Kahit niya, biro mo, sa lakas ng faith niya, kahit niya nabenta yan, hindi, babibili pa rin natin. Well, kung tayo, eh, parang katulad nung Ten Spice na, eh, ito lang ang hawak na. <laughs> eh, hindi tayo makaka, hindi tayo makaka-move forward yan. Hindi tayo makaka, ano, so, anong dapat natin gawin? What should we do now? Let's assess our goals. Assess your goals. Alin dyan ang gusto ng Holy Spirit na matain mo? Kasi may mga goals ka, maaaring hindi naman yung na-will ng Diyos eh. Diba? Ay, tingnan mo, assess mo, mamaya... Ay, gusto ko kong maging drug lord. Ay, hindi will ng Diyos <laughs> Or pwede, siguro maging gambling lord na lang ako para maging... Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi yan ang will ng Diyos. Assess mo yung ano. Ah? May pwesto ka dito, gusto mo maging lima. O oh, eh. May pwesto ka sa palengke na... 20 square meters, gusto mo maging 100 square meters. May trabaho ka ngayon, gusto mo maging president ka na. No, you have to assess those goals and ask the Holy Spirit, well, Kung wala ka, ay kailangan meron kang goal sa... Gusto ko dapat, may marating ka dapat. Oh? Ay, ask the Holy Spirit about those goals. No? Hindi yung... Hindi ko naman yata... Eh, tandaan yung ten pa, isa. Yan ang sinabi. Eh, hindi, hindi kaya yan. Hindi yan. Eh. <laughs> Kailangan umanga tayo. Assess the situation on how you could attain that goal. Eh, ngayon nga, ako, I'm undergoing a hard training. It's very hard. And Hindi ito usual na Hindi siya usual na ano na 
yung ginagawa ba, hindi siya usual na ganun. Mahirap. But, it would, it's not easy. It would not be very easy. And in fact, it would be costly. So, kailangan, but you have to lay them before the Lord. Oh, ito, Panginoon, gusto kong mangyari sa buhay ko. Kasi kailangan natin suportahan si pastor eh. Pagka nag-level up siya eh. Kasi pag hindi natin ginawa yun, maiiwan tayo eh. Kailangan natin umangat. At kailangan natin ano, we, we have to have this, uh, uh, tulad nung sinabi ng Panginoon kay Joshua, dalawa lang ang sinasabi niya. Be strong and of good courage. Yung courage na yan, you have to take, you say, risky. Actually, risk is a misnomer in a Christian. Kasi wala naman talagang risk sa Kristiyano eh. Bakit? Eh may Diyos eh. May Diyos naman eh. Oh. Walang risky. Pero we have to take that courage. We need to level up. So, ikaw ba ay kasama ng ni pastor? Sa, kailangan samahan natin siya dyan sa kanyang pupuntahan. Ay kung hindi, wala. Kailangan we have to visualize perfectly our goals. Our higher level goals. And ask God as God's favor. No? I-increase natin ang ating pananampalataya and ask God's favor. And mind you, gusto ng Panginoon yan. Galit nga siya pagka stagnant ka lang eh. Kaya kalimutan mo na yung past. Wala na yan. Ano man yung na-accomplish mo, wala. Wala yan. Tapos na yan. Oh, actually, virtually, uh, basically, napalitan na nga ta ang church eh. Oh, we have new faces. We have new leaders. Huh? Yung choir nga, ang ganda na eh. Oh, kasi pinalitan. Napakanta tuloy ako. <laughs> <laughs> na-challenge ako eh. <laughs> Punta ng kwera. <laughs> Makakalta nga. <laughs> oh. At yung, yung school, naging magandang testimony, magandang halimbawa. Kaya nagkaroon ng, kaya nagkaroon ng tuloy ng nomination kay Pasok sa party list. At pupunta sila dito sa Friday. Ano pa? Yung mga yan, hindi yan, ano, hindi yan, aksidente o ano lang, ganyan, ganyan. Hindi natin minawal yung baliwala yan. Kailangan natin sumabay dyan. Kasi kailangan natin umangat. At yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Gusto niya yun. Ang problema, kailan, mahihina ba ang loob natin? Huh? We cannot please God if our, kung doon tayo magdudwell sa ating laziness, sa ating worry, sa ating fear. And stagnancy, and idiocy, galit ang Panginoon dyan. We have to move forward. We have to level up. Tayo pong tumayong lahat.
tayo po ay manalangin. Maraming po salamat, Panginoon, sa mensahe niyo po ngayong hapon. Dalain ko po na ang pag-level up ng bawat isa, Panginoon, ay maging focus. Ito ang maging focus namin, maging goal sa aming buhay. Hindi madali na at talagang mahirap, Panginoon, but give us courage, give us strength and courage. Kayo lamang, Panginoon, ang uh, aming maaasahan. Kayo lamang, Panginoon, ang aming uh, pwedeng panghawakan. So, Panginoon, dalayan ko po ang mangusap po kayo sa puso ng bawat miyembro ngayon. Habang ang lahat po ay nakayuko, nakapikit. Ano ang gusto mong goal sa iyong buhay? Ano ang pinapakita ng Panginoon sa iyo na pwede mong marating? na nais ng Panginoon na, na iyong marating. Bakit hindi mo ilapit sa Panginoon yan ngayon? At humingi ka ng guidance sa Holy Spirit upang so you can level up from where you are right now. Bukas po ang altar at kayo po ay uh, iniimbitahan dito sa harapan upang ilapit, ilapit nyo sa Panginoon yan. Panginoon, di ko kaya ito. Parang, ano, parang mabigat. You're asking me to double to double the things that I, what I have now. Pero, This is all what I have. But I know you, I have you. Ingin mo sa Panginoon ang guidance. Ingin mo sa Panginoon ang, uh, ang, ang wisdom kung paano mo gagawin ang, yung, ang kanyang will sa iyong buhay.